Welcome to the Lindy Sports Post Game Report. I'm the coach Dick Cox, joined by Barry Tony, live tonight that we are coming to you from the Spectrum Center, uh, covering the Charlotte Regionals of the NCAA tournament. And I tell you what, Coach Tony, things have wrapped up and starting to take everything down. But the two teams coming out of this regional that will go to the Sweet 16, I don't think too many people had them picked in their bracket. No, you're, you're correct there. I'll tell you what, A&M really came out and played a humdinger of a game, didn't they, Coach? Sure did. In, in game number one, the North Carolina Tar Heels got off to a quick start. And then after a quick start, it looked like that A&M was taking a lot of three-point shots and all and got away from what they should have been doing. They wised up and just got the ball inside and dominated which opened up their three-point game. And once they got that going, I tell you what, they looked really sharp in all phases of the game, and they just pulled off, ran off, and left North Carolina. Yeah, you're right there, Coach. They, they started developing not only an inside a game, but, uh, you know, outside shooting was pretty good. I believe they had, what, like 41% from uh, three-point land. So that opened up their outside game as well as the uh, good inside game they had. And, again, this is the first time in a long time I, I've seen a team that could really match North Carolina size. North Carolina, this is not your your traditional North Carolina team this year, though. But uh, Texas A&M jumped on them, took a 14-point lead in the half, and sailed to an 86-65 win, uh, thus ending the national champions from North Carolina's attempt to make it two in a row. Hey, you're right there, Coach. And uh, what – what A&M was doing from a three-point line was very good, 41%, while on the other hand, North Carolina, I believe they shot like about 19%, which was led to their downfall. Well, again, the, the percentages, I've got them right here. In the first half, North Carolina shot 7% from the three-point line. They were one out of 13. And again, it just seemed like Joel Berry couldn't get it going, uh, that Cameron Johnson couldn't get the three going, and Luke May, just they could not get it going, or even the other young man, Kenny Williams. And that's been a strong point of North Carolina's play over the last couple of weeks when they made it to the finals of the ACC tournament. But on the other end, the, the Tar Heels just never put together any kind of run. It seemed like, you know, every time they would hit a basket that immediately Texas A&M and answer on the other end. Hey, you're right there, Coach. And let's, uh, let's give A&M credit for, you know, having a, a, a great defensive effort. And I tell you what, they did a fantastic job limiting the, the Tar Heels to uh, one shot off the Oftentimes. Again, the front line of Texas A&M is 6'10", 6'10", 6'9". And looking at the box score right now, they had a lot of scoring. Were led by number two, their freshman point guard, uh, T.J. Starks, had 21 points, 18 points from the man I think is a stud inside, Tyler Davis, that he had 18 points, nine rebounds. Robert Williams, the other 6'10", had eight points, 13 rebounds. Uh, D.J. Hogue, their 6'9 small forward, had 14 points and 8 rebounds. And Ahmad Gilder came in with 12 points, but just a great performance that I thought that th Coach Kennedy did a great job of subbing in and out. He kept his troops fresh. And, Coach Tony, we kept up with it. In the second half, uh, every four-minute segment, we looked at the segments, broke that down before the TV timeout that – the uh, Texas A&M Aggies built the lead more and more. Every s they won every one of the four segments except for one, and that was the last one at the, the four-minute mark, and North Carolina had only gained one point uh, at that time. Hey, that's correct there, Coach. They, they, they pretty much maintained that 20 or 22-point lead. Uh, the Tar Heels just couldn't ever uh, get it cranked up and uh, knock those numbers down. The Tar Heels were led by – Joel Berry in his final game as the Tar Heel tonight, he scored 21 points. Uh, Luke May had 13 points and 11 rebounds. And those were the only two Tar Heels in double figures. Theo Pinson did tally 11 assists, though. But, you know, North Carolina really never got anything going tonight. That they just and, and, and basically, you know, I've said all year long that this has not been your typical North Carolina team. You know, Barry's a good player, but they did not really have the franchise or lottery pick type player that they normally have on their team and all like that, though they were kind of a young team, though. But their season comes to an end right now here. They don't make the Sweet 16. And when is the last time North Carolina has not made the Sweet 16, I wonder? Hey, hey you're right there, and, you know, pretty much having a you know home game and coach I, 
Right, look at those blocks. How many, how many blocks do A&M have on the Tar Heel? Eight blocks yeah, eight by the blocks. big man inside. And it looked like a lots of times the Tar Heels were just rushing their shots to try to get them off, though. But I had a chance to ask Roy Williams, and just something to think about right here. The back-to-back -back games here, the Friday night late game, this game, your two teams that played for the ACC championship were Virginia and North Carolina. Uh, that is a tough conference to play in. When you go through that tough schedule, you go through the ACC tournament to make it to the finals and win that, and then start out here. You know, I just wondered how much gas both of those teams had because, you know, Texas A&M was well-rested and some of the other teams that came in there. And asked Roy Williams that, and he said that I must be a deeper thinker than he was, was his comment on that, though. But, you know, that's something to look at, that a lot of these teams that have gone deep, played in tough conferences, do they really have anything left when it comes to this time of the year, tournament time, after they have finished a tough conference? Hey, you're right there, Coach. And, you know, th this game along with some other games, you know, we got some high pro – profile teams you know losing by 20 points or more so your final score in that ball game tonight was the texas a&m aggies will advance on go to california they won by the score of 86 65 that's going to wrap it up on our north carolina tar heel report he's coach tony i'm coach cox hey i hope everybody has a lovely evening